Hey guys, Austin the Plumber here. Uh, I want to show you what we got going on here. Uh, we got 2003 uh, Denali Yukon XL 1500 extended. Um, rear brakes started making metal metal noise. Checked them, sure enough, they were due. Here's the new ones. Here's the old ones. You see, pretty worn. So um, luckily the rotors seem to be okay. So we're just going to replace the pads, hopefully. Um, here we got. Got the caliper off on the side. Um, so you see the rotor right there. Uh, first thing, guys, all safety first. You see I got my jack stand under there. On the other side, too, and my jack is, uh, is under there as well. Coming around here to the driver's side. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this caliper off. Now, once you get the wheels off, you're going to have these two bolts holding in the, the caliper. It is a 12 millimeter. Use a wrench or a socket. And then here's the tools you're going to want to use to complete this job. What you're going to want to have out is a hammer, something to take off the lug nuts, something to take the caliper loose, something to compress the caliper. You can also use Uh, can also use, use a C-clamp to compress the caliper. You want to compress these pistons right here evenly. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, and that's about it. A breaker bar. Good to have. A flashlight. Floor jack. Jack stands. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see up there, but I do have wheel chocks in. Uh, they are a must too. Because the emergency brake is on the rear of the truck, so if you jack it up, no emergency brake working now. The emergency brake is actually in here <clears throat> it's a, like a drum style system in here we're not gonna get to that today so that's what we got going on Austin the plumber here and uh, we'll get back with you here in a few when uh, we start getting this stuff you know replaced all right guys so in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my old pad seat clamp I'm gonna stick it in it's a normal spot right there and compress it. Now this is a uh, all-wheel drive finale, which makes no sense to me. You should still have that option to take it out. Anyways, I'm gonna compress this. You can see the pistons are all the way out. So we're going to push them in pretty much all the way down, evenly. Just nice and slow, you don't want to force it. Now see, I did this as soon as I noticed that they, uh, they were melt melt. Some people We'll ride on for a couple days, a week before they replace them. And if you do that, the friction ends up heating up the caliper. In turn, it like warps or so to say the, the pistons here. So you can, if you run it hot and then you compress it or whatever, do the job in general and don't replace the caliper, you got, you're likely to have a sticking caliper shortly after your brake job. And, um, yeah, that's sticking caliper worse than some your brake pads grinding. So, all right, so let's compress. All right, now it gave us a, Anti-seize. I'm gonna clean these up <clears throat> on the wire wheel <clears throat> and then uh, get them all I'm not very concerned they are so it's nice. So it's unfortunate I have a cigarette. Alright.
I'm gonna pause you real quick. Let's try to. Hey guys, we're back. You got my psychic here, church. Up church. Up church. That's right. Good boy. So we are uh, working on this one, church. All right. So I got the NICs. Uh, got the new pads. Got these cleaned up. Uh, I'll show you how they go right now. Okay. So. Oh, it's cool. All right. So you take this guy right here. Easy to pop in. They go on the okay, they go on the bracket. So yeah. right here on the bracket. What? What do I do here? You don't need too much of yourself. You do want to coat it in my face. Alright. So now I'm going to put these on. Place there. Next one here. I'll place my little over Boom. There it is. Alright, I'm gonna put a little bit on this side. You just want to get on the rotor. Also, gonna put some on the bolts. These are the 12, 12 millimeter bolts. And hold the caliper on. And put some of this on the back, wherever it touches. So this one. Um, so this one's up right there. Ching ching. This one. Middle. Outside. Okay. Get this guy right here. Let's see what happens. My bad, guys. Put these on first. Huh. Oh. Okay. Put these on first. There's a young with chicken.
You need to get on there. You need to get on there. Won't you, won't you? You need to get on there. That chicken is gonna be burning. Stay like that chicken is burning. Got it. Whoa. How long did that take? Too long. Here we go, guys. That's some flaming chicken, man. I got no light. <clears throat> no, man, no light. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Right here. Right here. That dog barking in there. We got going on right here. Come on, church. Alright, so we got the Hazrim. That's every time. Trish, come in. Oh shit, hold on. Excuse me, Trish. Well, me right here. Hi, Trish. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <coughs> oh, okay. Done. On the other side. All right, guys. We got the uh, brake pads here. Found the problem. See that? This is on the driver's side. That's the inside pad. There's the outside pad right there. Um, not far behind it. So, we should figure out what it was, and um, that's about it. So, until next time, guys, awesome plumber. Check it out.